This is Proxima Centauri. As the name suggests, it is the closest star to our sun. But close in space has a different scale. It is just over 4.2 light years away. This means that the light we are seeing from it right now left there more than four years ago. It is an echo from the past, a message of light that has traveled through the void of space to reach our eyes. Now, imagine this. You board a state-of-the-art ship, ready to cross the abyss between the stars. Your destination? Proxima Centauri. You accelerate to a staggering speed, reaching 99.9% .9 of the speed of light. The question is, if the star is 4.2 light years away, how long would this journey take for you inside the ship? Logic would tell us a little over four years, and that logic would be completely wrong. At this incredible speed, the journey for you, the passenger, wouldn't take four years. It would only take about 65 to 70 days, a little over two months. But how is this possible? The answer lies in one of the most revolutionary ideas in science, proposed by Albert Einstein, time dilation. Einstein's theory of special relativity teaches us that time is not absolute. It is relative and can be stretched or compressed. The faster you move through space, the slower time passes for you compared to someone who remained still. In our case, while Earth and everyone you know aged more than four years, for you, inside your high-speed ship, only two months have passed. You literally traveled into Earth's future. And what if you decided to return? The trip back would take the same 70 days for you. In total, you would have aged about 140 days less than five months. But upon arriving back on Earth, you would discover that nearly eight and a half years have passed. Your friends and family would be eight years older. But what would you find when you arrived? Proxima Centauri is not like our sun. It is a red dwarf, much smaller, cooler, and dimmer. Most of its energy is emitted in infrared light, invisible to our eyes. And the most incredible part, it's not alone. Astronomers have confirmed at least two planets orbiting Proxima Centauri. The most famous is Proxima Centauri b, a rocky world slightly larger than Earth, located within the star's habitable zone, where liquid water could potentially exist. A second planet, Proxima Centauri d, is much smaller and orbits much closer to the star, completing a full orbit in just five days. It's likely not habitable, but its detection further confirms that even the nearest stars can host planetary systems. There are also hints of a possible third planet, Proxima Centauri c, a much larger world farther out, though its existence remains unconfirmed. Proxima Centauri shows us that the universe is stranger and more wonderful than our intuition allows us to see, where time can be bent and other worlds await in our own cosmic backyard. The great question is not if we will get there, but when and how we will unravel the secrets of our stellar neighbor. Enjoy the video? Leave a like. Subscribe for more journeys through the cosmos. And what would you do if you could take this trip? Let us know in the comments.